Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very exciting video of algebraic equation. As you can see, ln x equal to x square plus 5 will be solving. But if I will give you one minute to simplify or to solve one step or two step, then you can take a pause and attempt this. See, this is one of the best problem of algebraic equation. See, let me start writing this equation by ln x minus x square equal to 5. Why I am writing in this manner? Because of I am just recalling a times e raised to the power a equal to b. This is what I am targeting. Okay, so issue the point is here I am having dot product, but here I am getting minus sign. So, by algebraic manipulation, I will try to convert this minus sign into product. This is the point of this question. This is the important lesson from this question how we can convert plus or minus sign into the product form. So let's get started. As we can see here we are getting x square but here ln x only. So for that purpose I will multiply this whole equation by 2 first. So let me multiply. Equation will be 2 ln x minus 2 x square that would be equal to 10. What I did here? multiply both sides by 2. This is what I done. Okay. Now see dot product is there and minus sign. So I will write this equation as 2 ln x plus minus 2 x square equal to 10. See minus sign is with 2 x square. Now algebraic property we will use that is b ln a equal to ln a power b. Okay. So this term will give us ln x square plus minus 2x square equal to 2 equal to 10. Okay. Now Take exponentiation both sides. Exponentiation both sides. That means we are going to write e raised to the power whole thing. ln x square plus minus 2x square equal to e raised to the power 10. We can do. If a equal to b, any time we can write e raised to the power a equal to e raised to the power b. This is what exponentiation is. So now property of exponents will come into the picture. See e raised to the power a plus b. So e raised to the power a plus b. Any time we can write e raised to the power a times e raised to the power b. So equation will be e raised to the power ln x square times e raised to the power minus 2x square equal to e raised to the power 10. Now ln x square this value will be e raised to the power what we will write directly we can write e raised to the power ln a that value is a. So this whole e raised to the power ln x square we will write x square times e raised to the power minus 2x square. Now you can see it is now straight away visible that our Lambert W function is on. Just by observing this equation now we can conclude that this problem will be solved by Lambert W. Earlier it was visible that no one can solve using Lambert W. This is the 
core point of this question. Now what we will do? We have to multiply both sides by minus 2 so that it will match with A. See this should be equal. So now to make that value equal minus 2 is missing. So I will multiply by minus 2. So equation will be minus 2x square. e raised to the power minus 2x square equal to minus 2 e raised to the power 10. Okay. Now see this is a straight away. This is a. Let me write again a e raised to the power a that is b. Then using lambda w we will write left hand side as a equal to lambda w of b. Okay. Let me write left hand side we will consider minus 2x square equal to right hand side see it is a scalar value constant value so w function minus 2 e raised to the power 10. Now this minus 2 is unwanted I want to calculate x so I will divide both sides by minus 2. So x square would be equal to w function minus 2 e raised to the power 10 divided by minus 2. Now x square is equal to this much. What I will do? I will take a square root both sides. So I need to multiply by 1 over 2. Okay. See what will happen next. This term will get over. X will be equal to plus minus. And that would be W function minus 2 e raised to the power 10 over minus 2. Whole power is half. In terms of a square root also we can write. If we want to write answer in terms of lambda w function itself then we will write w minus 2 e raised to the power 10 over minus 2 and see this is your square root now final answer is x is equal to if you will use the wolfram alpha tool then you will get our solution will be 0 0.3376 plus minus i times 2.089 because of outside it is plus minus inside you will get one complex solution so once i will distribute this plus and minus so there will be two roots possible for this complex solution see x is equal to coming out 0 0.3376 plus minus i times 2.089. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.